Okay, for this project, I am using a size I. It's a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And I am using, my tag's gone, but it's Caron Simply Soft, a four ply worsted weight acrylic. Okay, to get started, I'm using two strands of yarn at the same time. I pulled from the center and the outside because you won't need more than one skein. Will be One skein will be plenty. And you start with a slip knot with your two skeins. And then you want to do a chain of 18. And once you get your chain of 18, you want to single crochet in the second from the stitch from the hook. And then single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. I'm going to make sure you're getting both strings at the same time. I used two strands for this to make it sturdier and hold its shape a little better. Okay, I'm coming to the end here. When you get to the end, single crochet there in your last stitch. Chain one, turn your work. Now for the rest of the length, we're going to be working in the back loops only. And that's what's going to put the ridges on the boot cuffs. So I'm going to go in this very first back loop right there. See how there's two loops on the chain? The one closest to you is the front loop, and the one furthest away is the back loop. So I'm going to go in this back loop, but I'm making sure I'm getting both strings of the back loop because we used two strands of yarn, and I'm going to single crochet through it, and now I'm going to put one single crochet in the back loop of every stitch for the length of the chain. back loops only Keep tangling up down there. Okay, it's so like this, and every row now is going to be just repeating what we're doing. When you get to your last stitch here, go through the back loop of it, single crochet, chain one, and turn, and again we're going to go in the back loop starting with the very very first stitch in the back loop of it, single crochet. And now I'm going to just work my way across again, single crocheting, and the back loops only. And this is just the way it's going to be until you get your big piece made. And then we'll sew it together. And you want to do a total of 32 rows. 
of single crochet working in the back loops only of each row. Just like that. And you just keep going back and forth, back loops only, until you get a total of 32 rows. And then that puts, gives you, it'll give you these ridges. So each row is going to have a ridge. So keep working until you get to 32 rows, and I'll meet you back up then. Okay, once you get your 32 rows, we'll slip stitch it together. So I'm just, at, I didn't chain one or anything. What I'm going to do is just fold my piece in half like this and turn it to where I can work with it. I'm just going to go through the very first stitch. I'm going through both loops this time. And then very first stitch over here. And slip stitch it. Like that. And then the first stitch on this piece. And then you look and you find the next stitch on this piece. And slip stitch it. Just do this all the way down. And I, like I said, I'm going through both loops. I'm not just going through one loop anymore. And you just do this all the way down to the end. I'm about to do my last one here. Okay, now don't clip off. I just pull this up a little bit so you don't lose it. Now there's the seam. I don't really want to see that seam. So what I'm going to do is flip my work inside out. Like that. And you want to make sure that you do it, get 32 rows exactly so your seams line up. If you have one extra row there, the seam is going to be kind of gappy and you're going to be able to tell, but since it's just right at the right amount of rows, you can't really see where your seam's at once you flip it. Of course, you can on the inside, but that's not what you're going to see. So when you do this, it's not really that noticeable. And that's what you want. And these look, they look kind of small probably to you, but they stretch. And you want them to fit kind of snug anyways. Okay, once you got that done, let's get right back up here to where we left off and grab that loop, those two loops, and make it where the right side of the work is facing you. Pull those loops down. I'm going to try to hide these beginning tails as I go, so I'm going to shove them in there for now. Okay, what we're going to do is one single crochet in every stitch around. And you want to count because you need exactly 32 single crochets. So I'm just going to go in. Grab my yarn and single crochet like that. And I'm going to do that in every stitch around. I'm going to make sure I count. Keep track. That's two. splitting three four and if you can't really tell where the stitches go and sometimes it is hard to tell just evenly space 32 single crochets around just the best that you can that's probably what I usually end up doing put one here five 
six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So I'm going to keep going around and even spacing in 32 single crochets until I get back to the beginning. Once you went around and you got your 32 single crochets, go ahead and slip stitch into the first single crochet. Okay, now we're going to put the edging at the top. So we're going to start by going in the same stitch that we just went into and single crochet. We're going to skip a stitch, and in the next stitch, we're going to put five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and then we'll skip one stitch. Skip one. And single crochet into the next. Skip one and put five double crochets into the next. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the stitch and single crochet into the next, skip a stitch, five doubles in the next. So we're just going to repeat this pattern, these little shell stitches, all the way back to the beginning. Okay, I made it all the way around. I did my last shell stitch, and I have one stitch to skip, and then I'm just going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we did. And now we can tie off. We didn't even have to tie off the whole time we made this. And now I'm going to hide these tails real quick on the underside with my darning needle. And there it is. All finished. Make two of them and you're done. I just tried them on and they fit. And that's it. They're real easy and they're real cute with some boots. Um, don't forget to check out all my other tutorials too, and you can check me out on Facebook. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, have a good day.